In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can write, design, format, and launch your ebook today. Like today, maybe within an hour or so, all right? But we're gonna be using ChatGPT to create and launch your next ebook. So if you've been wanting to create an ebook, a lead magnet, or even if you wanna publish a actual like fiction novel, I'm gonna show you how you can do it a lot faster. So if you've been living under a rock and haven't heard of ChatGPT, ChatGPT is AI technology and right now it is totally free. But what it is is you can give it prompts and it can create whatever you want it to create as long as it can be in written format, okay? So I have been using ChatGPT in my business to create Instagram captions, outline my Facebook lives, you can write it, you can use it to write articles, use it to write emails. It can do so much. I even used it to create a contract, a legally binding contract. It was actually a pretty good contract. But today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can launch your ebook today. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so now we are in chat GPT, okay? So the first thing you need to do to launch your ebook is you gotta come up with a title and a topic for your ebook. Now, if you've already brainstormed and you already know what your ebook is gonna be about, just type it into the prompt. However, if you don't know what you wanna write about, like if you want chat GPT to give you ideas, this is what you do. So let's put it into the prompt and let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. So let's just say I want to create an ebook on how to become a full-time influencer. Let's just see what happens. All right, so I'm going to put it into the prompt. I'm going to speak it in there. Give me five ebook titles about how to become a full-time influencer on Instagram. Let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. You see how fast it's, it's, it's just shooting out? But these are ideas that you can use for your next ebook. So whatever your ebook is, one of, if, if you wanna write an ebook about writing an ebook, you can do that. How uh, real estate agents can use social media to market their business. How uh, you wanna create a cookbook. If you wanna, you, you can say, hey, chat GBT, give me 20 low carb keto recipes and you can even define that even more by saying make sure you include these uh only include these five different proteins chicken beef whatever so that way you don't get any you know weird recipes you're not looking for that has like i don't know tofu i don't know i'm not vegan but if you are no offense uh but yeah so we can use these five titles or you can either give it another prompt you can say okay uh let's include tiktok in the title Let's include TikTok and Instagram in the title. Okay, so now whatever title, you can just keep doing this and brainstorming until you get the title that's gonna work the best for you, okay? So now let's choose one of the titles. We're gonna go with, let me see, TikTok and Instagram influencer marketing, the ultimate guide to building a successful social media brand. Who the heck is David Crawl? What are you coming up with these names? Like I didn't, I didn't ask it for names. Or maybe these are actually real books. Maybe I didn't give it the right prompt. It's giving me like actual real books. Okay, but let's just take the title, right? So we're gonna take the title, and we're gonna say, give me, write me an ebook outline, or you can have it write the whole entire ebook. But what I've noticed with ChatGPT is best to give it small prompts, and you build on that versus just saying, hey, write a whole book. So we're gonna give us some small prompts. We're gonna say, we're gonna take one of these titles and we're gonna ask it to give us an outline of the book. Let's just take this, okay, just the title, that's it, okay? We're not gonna copy his book, but let's just take the title, okay? We're gonna say, create a ebook outline based on this title. And then you're gonna put the title in there. Now let's see what it comes up with. Okay. So now ChatGPT is creating your ebook outline. So while you're here, you can one, you can decide to use this outline to write the book yourself. Is this giving you prompts and keeping you on track? Or ChatGPT can actually write the whole ebook for you. Okay. So let's just say you want ChatGPT to write the whole ebook for you. Now, when you give it this prompt, if it doesn't sound the way you want it to sound, 
You can give it different prompts to get it the, the way that you want it to. Like for me, a lot of times what I notice with ChatGPT, if you if you don't tell it to give you like a relaxed tone or a upbeat tone or whatever, it can sound really like businessy. It uses a lot of big words. So sometimes I'll be giving a prompt and I would say, rewrite it in a relaxed tone. But I'm not gonna do that for this because this is just the outline, okay? Now, what I like to do is I like to take each outline step by step. Instead of telling ChatGPT to write the whole entire ebook, because when I do that, when you give it big prompts, it just never comes out good. When you give it smaller prompts, you get a better result. So let's use this outline here. Like I said, you can always, you can, you can, you can change the outline. You can keep giving it prompts to get the outline that you want. All right. I take the outline. And then I'm gonna tell it to write me a ebook section based on this right here. Create a ebook section based on. All right, so now it's gonna create the section for the ebook, okay? So this is the introduction. In today's dig digital age, social media has become an integral part of our lives. TikTok and Instagram are two of the most popular, so on and so forth, you get it. But look how fast it's writing, you guys. It would have taken me probably, you know, most people are gonna sit here and overanalyze and it's gonna take us a couple hours to write this intro. Chat GPT just gets it done. Okay, now, when you get this, you can rewrite it, you can paraphrase it, or you could just use this, okay? Now, what you want, if you're worried about, uh, if you're worried about, uh, like copying other, like with ChatGPT, there is, they say there's some level of, um, what's the word I'm looking for when, when you're copying other people's stuff, but essentially this is like your content. This is your original content. However, if you're worried about, uh, copying other people's content, what you can do is you can say, you can say, you can paraphrase this and make it sound like this. So let's try that. Paraphrase to sound like uh let's say let's say paraphrase in a relaxed tone let's say this because this intro is kind of long so because this is for a freebie it's way too much so paraphrase in a relaxed tone let's see what happens okay so it's changing up the words a little bit to sound less stuffy and more relaxed all right so what you can do now section by section is you're going to go section by section and create the sections for your ebook now let's show you how you're going to format and publish your ebook okay so now we are in canva if you don't know how to use canva canva is like the best thing ever okay canva is a free tool however if you want the full capabilities of canva i highly suggest getting the paid version i use me and my assistants use canva almost every single day so it makes sense for us to get the paid version and the paid version is only like 12 to 13 dollars a month however when you come to canva canva has ebook templates where the ebook is already designed you just have to input your content and your photos and it's already done okay let me show you so this is an ebook that i just wrote and let me show you so this is all like my stuff right but uh i just wrote an ebook um where is it oh i just wrote this intermittent fasting ebook okay and i'm going to be releasing it soon on my fitness page but i used the template from canva and boom, I made this right here in Canva, guys, all right? So, but now let's find a template for your ebook. So what you're gonna do is you're going to go to uh, the search bar here, you're gonna put ebook template. Now look, the, the, free, the free templates are not the same as um, the paid templates. The premium templates will have like 10 to 12 pages already designed. The free ones are not uh, are not like pre-prepared. I don't think they are. They might be. I don't think they are. However, even if you don't have the paid version, it's easy. It's very easy to design the ebook in Canva. But these are all premium ebook templates. As you can see, they have the little crown. That means they are not free. Okay. 
and as you can see here they're all like 11 pages this one is six pages uh this one is 10 pages so let's just say you chose let's see let's choose one of these which one looks the best i don't know um let's do this how to oh this is the this this is a, it's not a template does it have pages and stuff okay so you gotta we want we want one that has like a, a few pages you know all right let, let's just use this one okay we're gonna use this one you can always change the you can always change your uh cover photo but let's just use this template here okay so now like i said this is already designed all you have to do is change up the titles and stuff. So let's just say you want to use the title that we found on uh, ChatGPT. All you would do is go right back to ChatGPT and um, choose the title. So let's say, let's. I know we're not using this title because this is somebody else's book, but let's just say we're using this title. You're going to copy and paste it right up in here. Boom, okay, it's too big though, but let's make it a little smaller so it's not, you know, taking up the whole thing, but why is this so long? Anyways, of course it's not gonna look like that. You can break it up to make it shorter or, but copy and paste it right into Canva. You can use, now you can go ahead and copy and paste your contents right into Canva. And then at this point, it's just copy and paste, copy and paste, okay? You can change out your photos. So if you wanted to change, if you wanted to change this photo in the back, um, all you would do is you would come over here, take one of your photos, right? Let's just say uh, I want to use this photo, you know, just, you know, just, you know, you're not going to use it, but let's just say I want to change the photo in the back boom now and then if you don't like that one you can just choose a different one like i can easily just import this one and replace that one and now you just edit this one so you can edit that one to put you know TikTok influencer you know whatever you know TikTok guide <laughs> but as you can see very very editable so if you want to link your ebook to maybe to book a call with you you want to give them extra resources how you would do that is you're going to click on the element you want to put the link on right so let's just say i want to put a link on this title i wouldn't do that but let's just say i, I do it you're going to go up here and you're going to click on the little link icon and now you can add your and now you can add the website to whatever you're linking into to your product so now when they click on it it'll be a when they download this ebook it'll be a, it'll be a clickable file i know that a lot of people don't want to have to deal with canva they don't want to have to sit there because it does take time it, it is really fast but it is going to take you some time to get it right all right so if you have a couple extra dollars you can actually just go to fiverr and give them your ebook transcript and they will create an ebook in canva for you and you can get this done for between 10 to 50 dollars depending upon how uh robust your ebook is so to do that you're just gonna put um go to search uh ebook writer or ebook uh create ebook right and now look at all these gigs i will create flyer poster a banner for twenty dollars uh i will create a health and fitness ebook for you for 65 dollars our i will be your online course content creator so fiverr has a lot of gigs that you can do fiverr you can do anything on fiverr not just ebooks like i get a lot of gigs done on fiverr for my business i'm on i get at least one to two fiverr gigs per week for my business but you can actually come on here and find somebody to format your ebook for you. And, and after they format it, you can actually hire another person to launch it for you on Kindle. Okay, so if you wanna sell your, your book on Kindle, you can do that as well. Well, there you have it. We just wrote, edited, formatted, and launched your ebook in less than 30 minutes. If you haven't launched that ebook, that that freebie, if you want to write a children's book, if you want to write a romance novel, use ChatGPT to help you out. Okay. Now I'm not saying use it word for word, but it can definitely help outline it, give you ideas. But ChatGPT is a very powerful tool. So be on the lookout for more ChatGPT tutorials on this channel. I hope I was able to help you guys out, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.